This presentation will be having the DICT ICT Proficiency Examination Reviewer. So there are several topics covered on the examination, but uh, for now we'll be covering one of the topics. So one topic per uh, video as your guide for uh, your review for the ICT Proficiency Examination. So let's start first with the number system. I hope that you're already aware and familiar of this uh, topic. So uh, the lessons covered for this one is or are uh, what is a number system and then our different number systems starting from the decimal system, binary system, octal system, and hexadecimal system. <clears throat> so let's start what is a number system. So a number system is a systematic way of representing and expressing quantities or values using symbols. So later on, as we discuss the four uh, number systems, we'll recognize what are the symbols used for each number system. So it provides a method for counting, calculating, and performing arithmetic operations. Yeah. So different number systems exist, each with its own set of symbols, rules, and conventions for uh, representing numbers. So let's start first with the most common, which is the decimal system. So the decimal system, as I've mentioned, this is the most common one, and this is actually the one that we are using because this is the base 10 system. So numbers are represented using 10 symbols starting from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So this is our typical um, number system. So in this decimal system, each digit's position indicates its place value. It's like a typical um, topic that we're covering in mathematics uh, class. So with the rightmost digit representing the ones, then the next digit to the left will be tens, and then hundreds, and then thousands, and then so on. So for example, we have here the number 365 in the decimal system represents 3 times 10 raised to 2, 6 times 10 raised to 1, and then plus 5 times 10 raised to 0. So typically, anything uh, 10 raised to 0, any number raised to 0 is equal to 1. So 5 times 1 is automatic 5. So you have with this one. And then 10 raised to 1 is 10 times 6. So we have there our 60. Then 10 raised to 2 is 100 times 3, that is 300. So we'll just add everything up. Then we'll have its decimal equivalent as well as 365. So let's start with the conversion of decimal numbers to other number system. So first, let's start with the binary conversion. Um, the main idea, by the way, of uh, conversion is to basically divide the decimal to its correspond, uh, corresponding number system. Let's say, for example, we wanted to convert decimal to binary, just divide it by 2. If we wanted to convert decimal to octal, just divide it by 8. And then decimal to hexadecimal, divide it by 16. Okay. So let's have this one. Uh, decimal to binary conversion. So first, we need to divide the decimal number by 2. Then we need to record the remainder because that's what's important in our case. It should be either 0 or 1 because we are dealing with binary um, number system. Then we need to continue dividing the quotient by 2 and uh, record the remainders until we get the quotient to 0. Now, after then, after our division, we need to write... Um, the remainders in reverse order, and that is the equivalent of our conversion. So let's have an example. We have here one example. So let's say, for example, we wanted to get the binary equivalent of the decimal number 25. So first we divide 25 uh, to 2. 25 divided by 2 is 12, remainder 1. And then uh, 12 divided by 2 is 6. No remainders because that is an even number. And then 6 divided by 2 is 3 with no remainders as well. 3 divided by 2 is 1 remainder 1. And then 1 divided by 2 is 0. This is what we are trying to achieve. Okay, We need to uh, get a 0 quotient. Okay, 
So 0, remainder 1. So to have the equivalency or the conversion from decimal to binary, as we've mentioned earlier, we need to reverse the order. So it's not 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, okay? The equivalent of the 25 base 10 is 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, base 2, okay? These bases are our references to determine on which uh, number system we are. So 25 base 10 is decimal. 1, 1, 0, 0, 1 is base 2, means it's the binary equivalent of this decimal. So given this um, example, 25 base 10 is equal to 11001 base 2. Now let's have the octal. As I've mentioned, just divide it on the number that we want to uh, that we want it to be converted. So let's say um, octal, so divide the decimal by 8. Then record the remainder in reverse order as well. So let's try an example. Let's say we wanted to convert the decimal number 83 to octal. So let's say 83 divided by 8 um, is 10 with a remainder of 3. And then um, 10 divided by 8 is 1, remainder 2. Then 1 divided by 8, that is 0, remainder 1. Again, we need to have our quotient reach the 0. Okay, That means it's the end of our computation. And then we reverse the order of our remainders. So it's 1, 2, 3, base 8. So meaning 83 base 10 or 83 decimal is equivalent to 1, 2, 3, base 8 or 1, 2, 3 octal. And last but not the least, of course, we have the decimal to hexadecimal conversion. So we need to divide the number by 16 because hexadecimal is represented in 16 symbols. So record, uh, record the remainders, of course. Continue dividing until we reach zero, and then write the remainders in reverse order. So let's say, for example, we wanted to convert decimal number 176 to, hexa, to its equivalent hexadecimal. So 176 divided by 16 is 11, remainder is zero. And then 11 divided by 16 is zero, remainder 11. So in hexadecimal, it is um, 0 to 9 and A to F, where A is 10, B is 11, C is 12, up until we reach F, which is 15. So 0 remainder 11, so this is B. We, we arrange or we reorder our um, remainders in reverse. So that means we start with a B. And then we get the 0 base 16. So that means 176 decimal is equivalent to B0 hexadecimal. Okay. So now let's talk about the remainder of our number systems. Let's start with the binary system. So earlier we have seen um, conversions. So what are those other number systems? So binary is the base 2 number system, which uses only two symbols, which are zeros and ones. It is the fundamental uh, in digital electronics and computer science. So I think um, we are already well aware and familiar of the base two number system, which we typically use somehow on our truth tables and whatnot. So let's say, for example, we wanted to convert this binary uh, number to its equivalent decimal. So let's say we have 1011 uh, base two. So here's the thing if from decimal to any number system, we are dividing the number, right? Now, here's another thing. From num other number systems to decimal, we are multiplying. So let's say, for example, binary is represented by 2. So we just rearrange. So 1 times 2 raised to 3 plus 0 times 2 raised to 2, plus 1 times 2 raised to 1, and plus 1 times 2 raised to 0. As you can see, these are our numbers. So 1, 0, 1, 1. And then we multiply it by 2 raised to its current position. So 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay? And then we add up all the results. Yeah. So let's say, for example, 1 times 2 raised to 0, any number is 0 is 1, so 1 times 1 is 1. 2 raised to 1 is 2 times 1, it's 2. Uh, any number multiplied with a 0 is automatic 0. So we don't need to think of that. So 2 cubed is 8 times 1, so 8 
then we just sum this one up. 8 plus 0 plus 2 plus 1 is 11. And that is already converted to its decimal number system. So the, uh, that means 1011 binary or base 2 is equivalent to 11 base 10 or decimal. Now let's have the octal system. As we have mentioned, octal system is the base 8 number system, which is represented by 8 symbols starting from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So octal numbers are commonly used in computer programming. So one thing I uh, just remembered on taking the examination is during our hands-on um, uh, examination, we encountered a problem which utilizes octal system. So we basically converted uh, from decimal to octal and then from octal to uh, some computations, some, some um, arithmetic operations, and then turning it back to decimal. So there are some problems that utilizes the number system even on the hands-on. So we, we just need to know the basic conversions and I think we're good to go. So let's say for example, we wanted to convert 54 octal or 54 base eight to its equivalent decimal. So same as what we've done at the binary system. So we place our numbers and then times the eight with its corresponding position, starting at zero on the rightmost. So 8 raised to 0 times 4, this is 4. 8 raised to 1 is 8 times 5 is 40. So 40 plus 4 is 44, meaning 54 base 8 is equal to 44 base 10. And last but not the least is the hexadecimal system. So hexadecimal system or the base 16 number system, it, which uses 16 symbols starting from 0 to 9 and then A to F, where A stands for 10, B for 11, up until we reach F, which is 15. So hexadecimal numbers are used in computing and digital systems for their compact representation of binary data. So the hexadecimal number 2F is equivalent to. So let's start with uh, arranging its position, multiplying by 16, uh, according to its position, starting from the rightmost at 0. So 16 raised to 0 is 1. 1 times 15 is 15. And then 16 raised to 1 is 16 times 2 is 32. So adding this all up, 32 plus 15 is 47. So meaning 2F base 16 or 2F hexadecimal is equivalent to 47 decimal. The rest of the conversion, um, just please have it studied. Let's say, for example, conversion from binary to hexadecimal, binary to octal, um, octal to hexadecimal. So those are a few things that you need to uh, recall when it comes to the number system. But I think uh, this is one thing that could help you the basic conversions from decimal to any number system and any number system going back to decimal. That's it for our first topic. So if you wanted to reach me out, you can reach me at aaronpaul.delarosa.ph or on my Facebook at paul.aaron32493.